finally guys we receive our justice league trailer and it's awesome superman in pain and all that mm, amazing but before we begin that please go to our wotc honest news channel and subscribe there we have 1000 subscriber and make it at least 2000 and please also press the bell icon let's start okay the trailer starts with dark side waving his axe and you might be thinking why is waving an axe because he's not dark side yet he's uxus at this stage and he's young and he is gonna destroy the world and replace by Steppenwolf in a theoretical run. But if you observe closely, you can see the mega symbol upside down on his chest, which we can also remember from the Batman vs Superman nightmare sequence scene. And there you go, he just grabs his axe and bam. And then we have Superman at a completely different angle from the BBS scene. At the end of BBS where he actually dies and you know, he's in the hands of Doomsday. You can also see the kryptonite down there in Doomsday Chest. That's beautiful. And then comes the Hall of Justice scene, where Bruce Man established Hall of Justice. And there's a Wonder Woman broken shield there in the rubble. And then we have Aquaman's trident there shining like. Mm. And then the camera moves slowly past the Justice League sign, and then there's a paper coming towards you. And if you closely look, that's Joker card. That's from PBS as well. And then again, you have extended scene for Batman vs Superman: The Nightmare with the Mega Symbol. Then we have After Fear Logan's Wonder Woman's completely different shot, where she goes and visits the fire location. And you know where they threw the flaming arrow to warn Wonder Woman that Stefan Wolf has arrived and there's an attack coming. Okay, then we have Bruce Wayne looking at some sort of hologram, and he is you know, a bit concerned in the scene. But I have a theory, that might be a Supergirl, because if you look closely, that black look a little bit more feminine there, and the shoes don't match up with the actual Superman scene, so we never know. And then we have Aquaman's new scene. This scene was also in theoretical one, but there was just a few seconds of it, not really that long, and why not take out the shirt? Okay, moving along, we have Cyborg, aka Victor Stone, playing, you know, the soccer, the best he is, and his mom there cheering him up. That scene was also removed from the theoretical run for some reason we don't know. And if you don't know, spoiler alert, there's another scene where she will be driving Victor Stone to home, and they will get involved in an accident, and she will eventually die. Okay, Superman in black costume. Now, originally that was supposed to be black costume, but Warner Brother asked them to put on a red and blue. But glad we got back. Black costume. Moving along, we have Wonder Woman scene where we, she saves a lot of people from the terrorists. And you can also see behind there is some sort of explosion or the broken wall there. And she gives hopes to this girl and she smiles and Wonder Woman smiles. And the message here is girls who can be beautiful and strong at the same time. But keep in mind, there will be another explosion that Wonder Woman will fail to stop. And that should also put her in some sort of question that will she be able to stop Stefan Wolf on her own? Because we need Superman in that story after all. Moving forward, Flash saving Iris West. This was also part of first trailer, but was removed from theoretical run. And I don't know why. If you look closely, Flash is missing his shoes and he's barefoot. He probably burned because he was running so damn fast. Then we have Cyborg dugging some sort of grave. He can't be Superman's grave because we know all the team was there, and it could be his dad's grave. And we have Batman, and this scene was also in the theoretical run, but was blurred and, you know, some sort of obstruction was there. And finally we have it back again, and it's awesome. It should be there. Wonder Woman meeting Martha. That's a very emotional scene that was also cut from the theoretical run, and we missed an opportunity of connecting these characters and the moment after that we have Aquaman scene where he gets all his trident or quadrant and he leaves without taking anything this scene is also shared on Vero where Volko was present there and Volko gave all this stuff to him and you can also expect a longer version of conversation between Mira and Aquaman and Volko and the rest of the other crew was there where he actually saw sort of Aquaman after a long time that was also cut from Theoretical 1. Moving along, we have Uxus again, and it was replaced by Reception Wolf in Theoretical 1. And we can expect a longer version of the fight. Then we have Desaad. He's a very important character and is the main reason 
you know, dark side becomes dark side. Okay, followed by we have Cyborg scene, and he's crying, you can see a tear drop from his eye. That's probably his father died. And we have Superman flying up in the air, and Lois Lane looking from the ground, a bit concerned and odd that, hey, he's back. And then we have another scene from Star Labs. Now this scene is very important. Silas Stone actually dies and Cyborg observing every little second of it. You can also expect Adam to be there because he's part of the Star Labs team. This is a scene where Stefan will actually beat every single one of them and take one of the mother boxes. You can also see or you know get an extended fight scene between Cyborg and Stefan Morphia and Cyborg losing his father in that fight because hey Silas Stone is going to die in that movie. There are another photo there where you can see Wonder Woman and might also expect Batman or Flash or even Aquaman there. There's also in this particular scene Stephen Wolf in the back as well right now. Okay, you can also expect a new version of Stephen Wolf's design as well that was also different in Threadgold Run. I mean, look at those spikes. Bad ass. And Trinity back again. Awesome. Then we have another scene of Flash saving or fighting someone and people down there on the ground don't know what's happening because it's so fast. How awesome it is. Parademon ramming into Batmobile, not like dumb creatures we saw in Theoretical Run. They know the strategy. They're attacking it that way. Moving along, we have fight scene between Steppenwolf and Superman in black costume. If you look closely, Superman is in there in the black costume. And look at the punch and the impact of it. Then Batman stopping bullets from the Parademon attack. That's something that we never got to see in Theoretical Run because Batman was so dumbed down in Theoretical Run and he was made out of a certain sort of a joke. Barry inside the Speed Force. And it also looked like he's some sort of wind tunnel or something like that. This is all gonna go in the movie as well, so. It's awesome! And there's a new scene of Superman meeting Martha, his mom, and Lois. Unbelievable. And now this scene is very important. Cyber controlling all the you know, bombs and whatnot from his hand is not actually controlling. He's actually in a nightmare sequence scene where he was controlled by Stephen Wolf briefly. And he's actually thinking that he can control all the technology from his hand. Moving along, we have King Atlan blasting all the parademons with his blast from the Trident. And if you want to see, Trident is there and that's from history. Hey! And then Cyborg saving police officer. That was also part of the first trailer but was removed from Threadical Run. Now Flash inside the Speed Force and some sort of a ram that was building there for him inside the Speed Force. And then finally we have another version of a scene at the end of the movie where it's just league and the team goes to the you know home flying in a flying fox. At the end, Flash actually talking about Stephen Wolf or Darkseid. We don't know yet he who is he referring to, but we can assume that's Darkseid. And he's not dumbed down anymore. He's the one who's actually reasoning and questioning and, you know, not in threat or run. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you like the content, please give us a subscribe and hit the bell icon. Appreciate that. See you next time.